Hey there, good morning from Disney's Polynesian Villas and Bungalows. It's the second day of our trip and we're gonna be spending the day in Epcot. We're really excited. I'm hunting for a figment popcorn bucket, the elusive pigment popcorn bucket. We'll see if I can get one. We're getting into the park kind of late, so I don't know how that's all gonna work out, but we did get our Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind boarding pass and we are heading on over to Epcot. So let's get going. This morning we are taking the Epcot monorail from the TTC. Good morning. And um, if you are staying at Polynesian, particularly if you're in the DVC area, you are not very far from the TTC. And so it's a really quick, easy walk over to the TTC to get to Epcot. So we always like to hit Epcot when we're at Magic Kingdom if we aren't staying at an Epcot area resort, another part of our trip. Our first ride of the day! I love monorail, so to me it definitely counts as a ride. The new, newly redone area in the, the center. I mean, I miss the fountain, but right now it's cold, so I guess I don't really mind. Here's Pluto. Pluto is really, really working the crowd over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All right, well, we're gonna head out into the World Showcase, um, and my son wants to find if there's a scra scavenger hunt. Um, I definitely recommend it's a good idea to, if everybody has maybe just like one thing they want to do and try to just meet everybody's one expectation and then usually everyone's pretty satisfied for the day. I ordered my Figment popcorn bucket on the app and that was my thing for the day. So mission accomplished for me. <laughs> Anything else is bonus. Here I have the double Rattler, the Shuri, it is good, as well as the Mushroom risotto, another very good dish. This is one thing I do like about all the festivals, is all the great food. Cheers. The double Rattler is really light. All sweetness, it's not very bitter. If you don't really like beer, but like cider, but it's not like super sweet or sour like a sour, like a cider, it's still very good. So the kids are getting into Sleeping Beauty here. We love these. Um, these like photo ops, these are really, really fun. We have some of our favorite pictures from them. Here's some amazing chalk art creations. Yeah, these are so cool. And here is a really big one. Usually, yeah, they'll do like a forced perspective thing or something interesting. So the spot where you're gonna see it is gonna be here. And so we've got- He's Wally. on top of a trash pile holding up this. We're seeing that the details go in on Wally. Very cool. I love Festival of the Arts. It's so fun. I'm so glad we came during this time. Okay, I'm trying to drink around the world. I have one problem here. I bought this fine hard cider in England. It says on the label, premium Swedish hard cider. I feel lied to. All right, we've just found Figment. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. In UK, um, Figment is in the window of the toy, sh toy soldier, the toy shoulder, the toy soldier. So we got our second sticker. We have Canada and United Kingdom. Off to the next. Where date. are we going next, Woody? Off to France. One more time, clap your hands together, please. Yo. All right, you want hands up? Hands up! Here we go. I'm really excited because in Mitsukoshi they're doing the pearl thing again. They weren't doing it for a long time. And it's back. So yay! Well check all the nooks and crannies in Epcot because we finally found Figment. 
We found Figment in the America Pavilion in this piece entitled Dragon Crossing the Delaware. Dickie and I actually think we should them. Oh, I love the frame. Don't touch, don't touch. I love the frame. Cute. How many? Let's see what you have. What? You have just five left. So we've got six. We have five left. All right. These ones. Having a great strawberry daiquiri from Morocco. Staying in front of the America Pavilion. Just waiting to go in and listen to Voices of Liberty. Uh, definitely Festival of the Arts has a lot of stuff going on. A lot of interactive things that lots of people are into. So I, I highly, highly recommend it. So this is the braised short ribs from the booth in Germany. And I was really looking forward to trying this one. So we'll see what we think. Yes. Okay. I like it. Yeah, it really falls off the... Yeah, it's very nice and yeah. just crumbles apart. Yeah, you don't need a knife really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just kind of... It's very good. And very delicious. So this is one of the reasons that we loved Harmonious so much is because the barges were permanently out. And I know that's maybe not a popular opinion. A lot of people really liked uh, the, they really liked that the barges, you know, go away. They don't like the view. But this is the reason why I would rather have them just stay out instead of having to be repositioned every day. Um, because of this. Because now we're, you know, trying to get to our Cosmic Rewind uh, boarding group time and we're struggling to get there. Here we are, Figment's Inspiration Station. Here to pick up our mobile order. Okay, so I just said I was here. I have this giant pile of Figment popcorn buckets and Wow, pretty quick and easy as far as pickup goes. We finally got it. It's here, Figment Popcorn Bucket. I'm really excited. We'll have to see this in the dark when it really lights up, but it's so cute. I'm so excited to have this, finally. We just scanned in to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I'm ready to get rewound. Yep, you guys excited? See you on the other side. Welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. We have no room on our ship for these new guards. Jax, it's an honorary title. They're not coming with us. I see. It is meaningless. Well, then welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, where's that cake toast? Okay. We just came off. Woo! Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. 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 That's what it does to your brain. It was great. That was awesome. Great. All right, we're going to go do some I almost right. ate my cake. So now we're going into Journey of Water, inspired by... Just learned you can't bring a drink in here. We're learning about the water cycle. Well, this will be fantastic in the, in the summer. What do you hear? Music, are you gonna show me? Play that one for me. So this is the stream. Beautiful view of Spatial Park right here. It's really nice. Well, he said he needed to wash his hands, so. Here's land. So the land is shaped by water. We're gonna take the apparently dry path. I'm gonna go for the dry path. And here's the lake. We got a waterfall, a nice little view of Spaceship Earth. The lake. And there is Tafiti. Oh, she's beautiful. What? And here's River. <laughs> 
And I love that we still have the jumping fountains. That's so nice. Kind of a throwback to original classic Epcot. I think this is a really nice addition to Epcot. Especially in the summer. We're going to really love having this in the summer. This is a, a good place for busy hands. You have little kids with busy hands. And there's Moana herself in the rock. She's good. We just came out of Way of Water, inspired by Moana. Yeah. Our kids loved it. So two thumbs up from our family. I didn't think it would be much of anything, but it turned out to be something. Our kids absolutely loved it. So apparently they know what they're doing. <laughs> it never fails. We get in the queue for Soren. Always Battlestar Galactica. Always, every time. It's great music, but I don't know why always that. Right, we're doing Soarin' Through California this time, usually Soarin' Over the World, so it's been a long time since I've seen this particular movie. We're headed over to Spaceship Earth, and I just love the, what are they, the beacon lights on the Spaceship Earth. It's so beautiful. And actually, I have to say the lighting that they did on the trees around the Moana area actually really beautiful very complimentary to what they're doing on spaceship earth it's great so this center area i do really like better with the lights on i think it, it really um looks better <laughs> that way it's a little barren in the daytime but it's beautiful at night for sure So we're going in the wheelchair entrance because we have two people with wheelchairs here. We've never done this before, but it's the exit. You, they bring you around um, and you come to the exit and then you park your wheelchair here and they take you up kind of the exit so you don't have to walk a long ways without the wheelchair. So that's really great. If you need that, that's, an, that's a good option. Next season of Yellow Jackets. <laughs> I'd really like to see their makeup tutorial. Oh hey, Randall, what are you thinking about? Uh, I'm thinking about Rome. Rome? Oh, wait, this is Greece. Oh, no, this is Greece. Yeah. Look, USC fans. <laughs> so the guy, in the, the guy in the previous scene is a sextant? Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's taking all my Randall is trying to not say Steve Gutenberg. I, I say it every single time. Yes, I'm I trying am the not worst to. at this. I'm so annoying. I kept waiting for her to say Steve. I did not say Steve Gutenberg. He's now making fun of me about I said that what is that a sky abacus? I don't mean that like it's, seriously. It was a sextant. A sextant. Well the engineer should know. What? You've never seen any of this? Okay, I have this fear, like I have this recurring nightmare that the little girl with the pigtails turns around and has no face. And then it's like a horror movie. I'm looking. Does she have a face? Um, she has a nose. This is a chat GPT. <laughs> this is what chat GPT is a run on. One chat GPT. <laughs> so I really like I really like how these things can look like torches. So and they all coordinate with the the lights on Spaceship Earth and then also the lights on the ground. So that's actually really well done. And I have to say they have speakers in the center planter and it makes for a really good listening experience in this space. So um, I know people have been critical of it, but boy, it really is good at night. And soundscape wise, it's really, really nice. I'm really enjoying this. Here we are in Creations. And um, I came looking for this one, the Festival of the Arts 
Figment one because of course it has a treble clef. And I'm a musician, so I'm really excited to get this one. It is $34.99. And they have some other nice ones as well, but this is the one that I really came after. That is a cute, ooh, I like how long that one is for a um, women's style tee. Really like the cut of that tee. There we've got the spirit jersey as well, which has this on the back. Everyday work of art, it's got pigment. And that one is free. No, I don't know how much that is. It's usually around 70. And then we've got the tie-dye one. <laughs> Festival of the Arts plush. And I figured you guys were after these, huh? Maybe. <laughs> they like those, all these little. Disney munchlings. Not little. Little is the wrong oh, word. They're huge. <laughs> and how much are these things? That? Oh, it is popcorn. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is like a popcorn. It's pretty cute. And this is what they have. Yeah. They have the tiny Jack Skellington. Look at them. Yep. Here are the mugs. We've got the figment munchling. We've got the mug, the water bottle, and... Let's see here. I am. This is tempting. I think this is like a pencil holder, I think, is what this is meant to be. And it is $24.99. And so that... Well, it's pretty cute, though. I mean, I would love to have that in my classroom. I just... It's heavy, and I don't know if I want to carry that back with me, but I could ship it back. Look at ink. Oh, I didn't realize the cup has um, ink spilling on the back. Oh, I kind of like that on the mug. But we are going to also go to the cruise... Yeah. So we might find stuff we like but, there too. But it's kind of hard because you can't come back here. We're not coming back to Epcot. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I see a couple of things that are speaking to me. I mean, obviously this. Who doesn't need that? And actually, this piece tumbler is beautiful. I love oh my it. gosh! Look I at love this it. tumbler. <gasps> oh no! It's, I might have to get this. It's so cute. It's a Starbucks one. But who cares? And it's $44.99. Look, there's figment. Mickey. It has figment, yeah. And the that's... seagulls that are like, mine, mine, yeah, mine. Yeah, it's got a lot of things I like. That is very tempting right there. Oh, look at the rainbow pathway. The lighting in here is just beautiful. Oh, love it. So pretty. Well, after getting some popcorn and having the cast member give our kids Mickey bars, that was fun magic, um, we're going to go into Figment. Welcome to our special... Do you come here often? I uh, am. Yeah. With your annoying wife and family? <laughs> Upside down, now you're talking. That's the best idea you had. Night at Epcot. This is really the coldest cold. I've ever been at Disney World. Yeah, well, yeah, 
Yeah. It's yeah I think coldest. it is the coldest by a few degrees I've ever been. So, yeah. anyway, we're going to go back to the room and give you some of our thoughts on the new show. And we have thoughts. We do have some thoughts because now we've experienced it in person. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, we're going to head back now. Good night, Epcot. It was a beautiful, beautiful <laughs> evening, and I am loving some of the new things. There are some real yeah. pluses in terms of the new edition, so we'll talk about that in a minute. We're staying at the DVC part of the Polynesian and it's kind of closer to the TTC. We've made the decision to go ahead and walk back. We came that way this morning. We we're thinking about taking the monorail, the resort monorail back to the main building at um, Polynesian to get food, but we decided we're just gonna go straight to the room. So the shortest path is gonna be by taking the walking path. So I think we're gonna time ourselves and we'll let you know how long it takes to walk from the TTC over to the DVC part of Polynesian. So if you're trying to find the pathway back to Polynesian, it used to be more confusing. They used to have more, it was more separated off. It's actually really simple now. From the TTC, this is where the tram pickup is, back to the Magic Kingdom parking lot. You just turn to the right as you're exiting and you can actually see these torches out here. Those torches are the Polynesian. So if you just walk over here and then there's a path, go to the torches and then you'll be already in the right spot. So just keep going that direction. And here we are at Polynesian. It's been three minutes and we just came in here, this pathway right here. And so if you were in Morea or Pago Pago, which are DVC buildings, you would be really, really close. I, this is probably four, five minute walk. We are over here in Tokyo Lao, So we're like down on the end and so we're talking five, six minutes. We're walking at a moderate, moderate to quick pace. We're not moving too slow tonight. So I would say for sure under 10, you could probably do it in five to seven minutes for most of these DVC buildings. So especially if it was a busy night, this would be a really, really good option to walk back. Obviously not if it's raining or bad weather, but on a quiet night, good weather, this is a great way to go. Thank you so much for joining us on our Epcot day. Um, the next day of our vlog is going to be really exciting because we are going on our very first Disney cruise on the Disney Wish. Ooh. So stick around. Stay tuned for the next vlog. It's going to be epic. Epic. And first for us. So very, very exciting. All right. We're going to go to bed, get some rest, and get ready to go on a Disney cruise. Have a great night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Bye.